Don't sound that life to you? That how you will serve circumstances and you go through certain things and waves are crashing on you and things have happened to you and you in that belly, but yet you got to what God could use you the most. That's when you notice that Job prayed to God the most and God was answering his prayers no matter his life when he went through. That's when he cried out to God the most when he was in the belly of the wheel, when he was going through the trials and tribulations. Don't you see that's when he cried out the most? But you got to think about the whole thing with the first chapter. This is because he was disobedient to God. Woo! I mean, I know I did a lot of things that God told me, don't do it. And I still said, fuck it. And I still, listen, I was right at the edge of doing it. And God was like, I told you, Buster, don't do it. And you still want to do it. And don't get me wrong, it ain't go all hunky glory for me. Things I went through, but God kept me still alive. And that's what I'm telling you, this is what Joey went through. No matter what he was going through, no matter the circumstance he was in, he still kept him alive. Why? Because he chose to pray to him. That's when God captured him the most. That's when God had his attention. God always just wanted Joey's attention. He just wanted him to do the best because God wanted to give him the best. How we want the best, but we don't want to be the best. We always want something good to happen, but we always doing something that ain't right. Lord, we want to listen. Listen, Lord, I want you to do this for me, but you that way. How God is going to bless you when you ain't on the right path with him. You always want the blessings of God. You always want God to do what you got to do for you. You want God to heal you. You want God to bless you. You want God to bless your finances. You want God to give you everything. What are you giving God? I, I, I'm just trying to say that. I'm just saying that I speak for myself. I'm not speaking to you. I know for me for myself. I know when I was in it. I'm telling you where I was at. I'm telling you I know I wasn't giving God what he was required. I was giving God my leftovers. And God wasn't happy with my leftovers. You got to understand that we give God whatever we want to do. But we want God to give us his best. Don't that seem familiar? We in relationships. You want your spouse to work hard for you? You're like, I'm tired, baby, not denied. But this is not. But you want the roses, you want the flowers, you want the candy, you want to go out to dinner. But you got to go that extra mile too, because he want what he want as well. Right. You want to go that woman got to go on because guess what? You never know what she got to got to go on when she doing. She giving her her best, so he's giving her her best. You got to give each other your best. It ain't no different. God wants your best. He wants the best out of you. He wants he required us to give him what is required of him. You want him to give you his glory? He wants to be honored in everything he do. And then you got to understand when, he, when Jonah was at the death, when Jonah was crying out hard to him, that's when God had to fish. Even though he went through with that cross of the turtle, even though you go through that fight, even though you go through that situation, God still was keeping him. I know I've been in certain situations, and God still was keeping me. He's a keeper no matter what. I'm telling you, he's a keeper no matter what. No matter what you do, he's a keeper. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm telling you, I told people this on a prayer line. I've really been into this song. I mean, and, and it's an old song. It's one of Tasha Clark's first song, but it's the first time I heard it about a month ago. It said, at your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, I would, I would stay at your feet. No matter what's going on, no matter what situation is happening, I would stay right there. Right there, right there. At your feet. It ain't no hard song. She just sit there and sit there. I'm saying, I sometimes I can listen to it, it just bring tears in my eyes. And I'm telling you, when you listen to the song, it's just so deep because she talks about at Jesus' feet. That's where she want to be at. And that's where God wanted us at, at his feet. He didn't want to do it to Jonah. He wanted him at his feet, but he was giving him the best. But being that Jonah wanted to do what he wanted to do, he ended up at his feet anyway. But he ended up in the wheel. He ended up at the fight, but he was still ended up at his feet. And here we went where he had to go in the first place. He was still at Jesus' feet. But
but he would have been blessed. He would have had to go through the torture and turning and the fighting and all that nonsense. He had to go through the seaweed and wrap his head. I mean, he said the seaweed wrapped his head around his head. I can think about how many times I've been in fighting people. That's the seaweed around your head. And you put the seaweed around your own head because you was end up being disobedient. I've been there. God wants the best for us. Well, God requires the best for us. But God wants the best for him out of us. And the way we do that is by honoring each other, by respecting each other, by loving each other, by, by, by giving each other our testimony. By end up, listen, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something. I love the building. But we are the church. I, I, I don't want people to get it twisted. We, we, we are here are the church. The Bible talks about that. You are the church. This is a building where we come and fellowship, where we come to worship. But the church is in you. It requires out of you to be able to bring the people from out there in the building to worship with us. But we are the church. We are the ones that got to reach the people in the street. We are the ones that got to speak to the people that think we can never come up in this building unless we act like God wants us to act. Unless we do what God wants us to do. If you want the best, you got to be the best. But when I when I put on my clothes, I just want to say this. When I when I and and, and, and somebody called me to do uh, a testimony in the park. They wanted me to speak for 45 minutes in the park on Friday. And they call it Bum Park in Hartford on Park Street. And 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 this is my second year going in. And it's about reaching the masses of the people. I, my, my, my prayer is, God, if I just touch one person that day, just one, do my testimony, just one, if I can heal, just one, if I can save, just one. See, the problem is we want, we, it's a big crowd and we got to speak to everybody and try to save everybody in the building. But that one you save can save another one. And that other one can save another one. And that other one can save another one. Imagine if you just bring one in this building. And that one bring another one. And that one bring another one. But it's the way you live that people look at. Me personally, my biggest say is don't talk me to death. Because you can talk good, don't talk me to death. Show me. Don't, you can, I, 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 I got you, I got you, you, you my people, you know you my boy, show me. Don't talk me to death. I done been in the streets, but I, I love you, baby Paul, you my people, baby Paul. But as soon as I went to jail, they forgot all about me. Friends like that, you don't need no enemies. I know everybody else said heard that. So I'm just telling you this, to tell you that. Your testimony, the way God leads you, the way God directs you, is for you to be what he called you to be. And that's the church. Don't run from where he told you to be. Because guess what? If you run, you still gonna have to go through it no matter what. Right now. But it's just gonna take a longer process. Yeah. But if you do what he requires you to do, guess what? You, you're gonna pass that test. And you will go on to the next level because it's always another level you need to reach. We will never reach the ceiling. We will never reach the ceiling because that ceiling is going to become the floor. So you ain't going to never reach the ceiling. When you're at the next level, you're going to go higher and higher. You will never get there until you see God's glory.